My love must be a kind of blind love. This one goes out to all you lonely hearts out there. Happy Valentine's Day! Let's play a dating simulator. So I played it briefly, just to get an idea of what I was doing, and found out I'm not very good at it. But obviously I have big Valentine's Day plans, considering the fact I'm sitting here playing a dating simulator. Hi there! Hi there! What? Who me? Hi, hello! Uh. Yeah, you! Yeah, you! Welcome to Memory Lane Gaming. I am your host, The Tanuki, playing Honey. I'm sorry, I just don't talk to many girls. You're like really, really cute and uh, stuff. I think I'm in love with you. Okay, maybe we can take a step back here. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. You mean, like, the letter? Apparently, Kiyu's a letter. I literally can't remember my name right now. If only I had just said it. Hmm. Right. We'll try that again later. <laughs> Look, dude, are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. I got a firm grasp on the situation. Oh no, I just, uh, uh I uh, just, uh, uh, what do you mean? I'm fine. Hmm, nah, I'm chill, I'm chill. What do I mean? I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Ew. How do you know I'm wearing a shirt? I just noticed the uh, background kind of moves for some reason. Is it that obvious? Well, it's just that you're so pretty and stuff. Shit, yeah, sorry, I should just go. Oh god, did you just say that? Is this happening? Uh, hmm, no. Wait, you know what? This might actually work. Yeah, oh. yeah, oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy. Sweet. Listen, I gotta go, what? but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. What? Night! What? You just said it's my... It's your lucky night. You get to go home alone. Excellent. Hello. Hey you, rise and shine. We've got work to do. Well. I said get up. Part of me is certainly rising and shining. I was having the best dream. <laughs> I bet you were. I bet you were. That get up. I'm definitely still dreaming. How did you get in here? I'm calling the police. Well, wait, who who are you? Afraid not. This is totally happening. Ooh. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. Huh. Did you I mean, did we uh yeah. But you had brown hair. Also not wings. I think I would have remembered your wings. I'm so confused right now. What's going on? Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. Oh, so will you resurrect me if I die in battle? But only if I keep you in a bottle, right? What exactly is a love fairy? Oh. Well, why didn't you just say so? Okay, but fairies aren't actually a thing. A <laughs> common misconception. I assure you that fairies are indeed a thing. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Sweet. I love being an accomplishment. 
Especially the greatest one ever. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm doing just fine on my own. I'm still having a hard time accepting the fairy thing. It kind of crushes my reality. Why don't you want... Why do you want to help me? What's in it for you? <gasps> it's fine. Just go with it. It's going to be great. We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Like... Actual dates with physical girls? So are you saying this right here does not count as a date? Cause I beg to differ. This is the best Valentine's date ever. I mean, you know, an amount. Define date. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Oh, trust Someone me. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. <laughs> I'm grabbing my shit already. But hey, you're not wearing pants. Does that mean I have to put on pants? Because if I have to put on pants, this date is off. Alright, I'll try to make this quick. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Don't tell me what to do, you're not the boss of me. I'll do it, but not because you told me to. See? Easy! Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. No, I want to match these. Don't tell me what to do. You're totally the boss of me. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right. Let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. I totally have a date gift already. In my pants. Which I totally left at home because you're not wearing pants, I'm not wearing pants. It's only fair. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. What? What? You just gave it to me. It's mine, you can't have it. No take backs. It's mine, it's my teddy bear. Selfish bitch. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? Alright, alright, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. I don't believe you. You totally gave me a teddy bear and then requested it back, and I couldn't... I couldn't not give it to you. It's not fair. You're mean. I don't like you anymore. That's not true. I still love you. So I actually don't play a whole lot of these games. These, uh jewel matching games and stuff 
So, don't be surprised if I suck. If you watch me play these jewel games and you're like, Oh my god, cringe! Then I'm doing my job. This one! I choose you. There we go. Get more turns. So yeah, I'm not really good at like setting up like moves so that when I when I move this one here, it's gonna chain uh, trigger this chain reaction. I'm not good at that. Uh, not with this. If this was like Puyo Puyo or Dr. Robotnik's Mean Mean Machine, I'd totally rock at that one. But that's about it. Woo! Look at all that passion. I'm feeling so passionate right now. So passionate. Um, no, not that one. Um, bananas. Aha. Aha. Ah, uh, damn it. Aha. And ah uh, ha 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 ha. Ooh. Look at that. I'm doing things. Um, now I don't know what to do. Let's do that. And, ha ha. Oops. Told you I sucked. what I was trying to get. Woohoo! I still did it! Despite the fact that I'm bad. I gets the money! Nice! See, I knew you had it in you. Yes. But later, you're gonna have it in you. Or, you know, something like that. Oh, shit. It's morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you. And this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology. The Honey Bee 4.0. I don't really want your vibrator. The Honey Bee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or, if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. <laughs> go ahead, break that bad boy open. Well... I'm definitely weird. <laughs> Tissue box, used for wiping your nose or cleaning up other various bodily fluids. Dirty magazine, why is it dirty? Did somebody leave it in the mud? Reading material that you only look at for the interesting articles. Articles. Okay, great. I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. Or we can just chill here and play video games. I'm not ready. Please don't make me do this. Hell yeah. Let's do this shit. I said, let's go talk to some broads. Well, technically I can do both because I am playing a video game and I'm talking to a broad. Sort of. More like she's talking to me and I'm talking to myself. That's what I like to hear. 
Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. Farms. I've done some scouting, and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Why can't we go to a farm? I heard they have plenty of hot chicks there. They may be a little young, but they're still hot chicks. Anyway, this has been an episode. Uh, stay tuned today if you don't have any exciting Valentine's Day plans either. For more Honey Pop, because we're going to do a little bit of a marathon today of Honey Pop. And uh, next episode, we will go uh, somewhere and meet some chicks. Thanks for joining me, and uh, happy Valentine's Day. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. I have nobody